Why doesn't anyone tell you that the door you first choose always contains the opposite item as the door you can switch to? Ah, the Monty Hall problem. Three doors, each hiding a prize. Two have goats, and one lucky door has a car. You want the car because goats poop, and the pollution of cars is the future's problem to deal with. You pick a door, and your first choice, but before you can open it, the host Monty Hall looks behind and reveals a goat from one of the two other doors and opens it. Then he asks if you want to stay with your first choice or switch to the other unopened door, the switch door. Here's why the first choice and the switch door always have opposite items, and why they always say switch. If you first chose a door hiding a goat, Monty Hall has to reveal the only other door that has a goat behind, leaving a car behind the unopened switch door. On the other hand, if you first choose the only door hiding a car, it doesn't matter what Monty Hall does. There's only one car, so the remaining doors must have goats. He'll just randomly pick one of the goat doors, and the switch door will also be a goat. In both these two possibilities, you can see that the switch door always gives you the opposite item. Another way to come at this would be to do a simple proof by contradiction, where you say, oh, maybe your first choice could be the same as the the switch door. Then if your first choice was a goat and the switch door was somehow also a goat, that would force Monty Hall to reveal the door hiding the car. That contradicts with the true premise that Monty Hall always reveals a goat door, he never reveals a car door. On the other hand, if your first choice was a car and the switch door was also a car, that would obviously contradict with the other true premise that there's only one car. Thus, this premise is false. Your first choice and the switch doors always hide different items. So then, how does this affect probability? In two out of three universes, you will randomly choose the door hiding a goat as your first choice. That should be obvious since there are two goats. Because we know the switch door hides a different item, in those same two universes, the door you're allowed to switch to always hides a car. Which means always switching gives you a car two thirds of the time. If this video finally got you to switch to the other door, I think that's worth subscribing for, don't you?